I just wanted to show you. I've seen Tenant three times. Here's all my ticket stubs to prove it, man. Oh, one of my favorite movies you. of the year. Yes, one of my favorite movies of the year. My husband's seen it four times. He interviewed you last week with Mr. Nolan, and he had his the Interstellar tattoo oh yeah oh yeah yeah oh he's yeah he's a real deal yeah oh, he's, yeah no, huge, huge tenant fans in this household i'll tell you well i have so many cool. things to ask you um congrats on the movie one of my favorite scenes in the movie is the kitchen fight scene i love oh. the line that you say i ordered my hot sauce an hour ago <laughs> and i'm curious i know i'm curious for you was that line actually in the script <laughs> And then going off on the fight scene, what was the most fun part to shoot? Because you're doing dishes, you're doing the meat tenderizer. So first of all, was the hot sauce line, was that actually in the script? Oh my God, you really have seen it. That that you're the first one to comment on. Thank you so much. I uh I'm very I have a lot of uh I'm very proud of that moment because he I that was that was uh improv. I just I, I that was not in he did not write that. And and I actually got a laugh out of him. So I was like, oh, this has a chance to make it in the film. <laughs> Because he laughed, because nobody expected it. I almost, and the guy I was fighting, uh, Jackson, who who's the uh, the fight coordinator, he almost broke too. So I almost got, I got one and almost got two, and it would have ruined the take, but it would have been worth it for sure. Uh, I love that line. One of my favorite lines in the film, actually. It's my favorite line in the movie. <laughs> 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 Thank you for saying that. Um, but I actually loved that fight. Um, uh, because it was, you know, for one, it wasn't in the inverted world. It was just your regular good old uh, hand-to-hand combat, and I get to use a, a cheese grater uh, as a weapon. So, so you know, isn't that crazy? So, uh, just you can get so creative with a cheese grater. It's, it's it's pretty exciting. And yeah, getting to throw plates. I actually threw a glass at Jackson. And it was funny because, you know, he's such an intense guy. I was trying to throw it away from him to be safe. And he's like, no, no, throw it right here. Just throw it. Trust me, bro. Trust me. And I, I threw it at him and he started he started bleeding. So I was like, I felt so bad. He was like, no, man, it's OK. It's all right. Do we get the shot? It's fine. <laughs> it was so crazy. So uh, and we end up using that take. <laughs> so cool. Um, I I love the Travis Scott song, The Plan, that was first featured mm. in the final trailer and also during that awesome car chase sequence, like the underlying tones yeah. throughout that. I'm honestly just curious for you, when did you first hear that song? Because there's some key lyrics in there, but I'm curious if that song kind of played into you building the protagonist at all. But first, when did you first hear that song? No, I did. I had no idea Travis was going to be involved. I mean, I have the score currently and I have it on repeat. What Ludwig did is like it's incredible. That score is phenomenal. Uh, but I didn't know until the second time I saw the film that he was involved. So um, yeah, I, I I I couldn't. You know, it didn't. I didn't. It broke. You know, Christopher Nolan traditions. He's never had anything like this. You know, an original song like this to lead his film. So um, it was really cool um, and very enjoyable. And I think it's it it works. It it fits in into what we were doing. Um, so, uh, you know, talking to, I got to, to meet Travis Scott and we did a, a promo together and he's just, he geeks out over Christopher Nolan fans. He loves it like the same way we do. So, um, it's great that he wanted to be involved. This is his first time he's written original music for a movie. So, uh, it was the first time for a lot of things for both of us. That's awesome. We play it downstairs as a music video sometimes while we're making dinner and stuff. We love it so much. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so last question for you. Um, I love the friendship between the protagonist and Neil. Of course, you and Robert Pattinson in the film. Obviously, I'm a huge Twilight fan. Um, I, I've seen the movie a lot now, and there's there's so many characters that say we live in a Twilight world. Was there any like goofiness on set or jokes made on set regarding that line with with you and Rob? I'm honestly just curious. Not 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 with that line specific. That was because uh, that's poetry. We cannot mess with the poetry of and the beauty of a line like that so deep. But uh, no, but there was all kinds of joking around. I mean, Rob Rob is hilarious. I think between Rob and and Aaron Taylor Johnson, I they need. I would love to do a. We got to do a comedy together. I love to do. They are they are hilarious to me. They were so funny in between takes, and then they and then they yell action. They can turn it on. Uh, uh, but uh, Rob is hysterical. We, uh, I, that, I, I consider him a real friend. Uh, you know, we, we we went out a couple of times in Estonia and uh, in, in in Mumbai, and uh, I just love talking to the guy. You know, he the way he tells stories, his delivery, and how he sees the world is is so funny to me. And uh, and he's a tremendous talent, as you know. And uh, it was he. So it, it's the chemistry was natural. It was organic, and uh, I want to keep working with him. I want to do something with him again.
It is. Yeah, no, I, I love the movie so much. Obviously, one of my favorites of the year. We're going to see it again in IMAX. And I have to say, I'm so excited for Malcolm and Marie. I love that you huh. guys finished shoot, like, shooting that during the pandemic. So I know you can't say too much about that, but I'm so excited for that. I love that still of you and Zendaya that was released. It was gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. I, I can't wait for the people to see it. It's something like I've never done before. And Sam, Sam Levinson, who does Euphoria, I'm huge fans of, of their, he and Zendaya and uh, what they're doing right now creatively yeah. is out of this world and what we've created with that. Um, it's not, it's not, it, it, you think it's supposed to be one thing and it turns into something else. So it's a beautiful film. Yeah. Well, John, Dave, I appreciate it so much. I love Tenet. I can't wait to, I've, I've been, you know, saying your praises and Christopher Nolan's praises regarding Tenet for months now. And I'm so excited that people are now seeing it. Thank you so much for your time today. Three times. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>